Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. This is Ask Leah. We teed it up on Sky Sports social media accounts, giving you at home the chance to ask Leah Williamson absolutely anything. Leah, not only do we have a lot of questions, we just have loads of comments saying things like legend, inspiration, and thanks for bringing it home. So I just wanted to get that in. Um, I've picked the best ones. You looking forward to this? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. But Are you? Yeah, I was a bit nervous. <laughs> the first one just simply says, has winning the Euros sunk in yet? No, not one not bit. Not at all. I don't want it to ever sink in. The day I wake up and I don't, I go a day without thinking about it, it'll be a sad day. Really? Do you think yeah. it'll ever sink in, wouldn't you, Chief? I'm not sure, really. I hope that's like, especially the start of the league and stuff, I hope that it's a constant reminder. But yeah, like when I see the girls now, I'm just mm. like, what have we done? And of course, sell out at Wembley, I was there, the atmosphere was incredible. Over 17 million watching on TV. A lot of people talking about the fact that this is more than just a trophy, more than just success on the pitch. It feels like a real landmark moment for women's football, this, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, and that's the thing, it's, I'd love to go into press conferences and do things where I just talk about football, but yeah. it's not, it's not that for us because we're on this like journey and the growth of women's football is so quick, but yeah. also we have so much further to go. So we're constantly trying to evolve the game and, and take it to the level that it needs to be to compete on a world stage, which obviously we've now done, yeah. but yeah, I just think there's so much more room for growth as well that we have to just keep pushing so then when we do something like this it does feel like more than a trophy because it's not just 90 minutes on the pitch it's an everyday choice that we make to commit to growing the game yeah well said big moment but still a lot more to do yeah for you. yeah, yeah. Uh, next one just says how has your life changed a lot of people ask this by the way since winning the euros obviously it's still quite fresh uh, yeah it's quite recent but how has your life changed since it's just people recognizing us and knowing who we are um double taking like really, when yeah. we walk past them most <laughs> of the time i go nah not me <laughs> Do you? But you pretend it's not you. Just Are you? you... <laughs> Who? Pretending yeah. the double of Liam Livingston. Yeah. yeah. Can't get on the tube now. I imagine. My I'm mate just... said the other day, so I said, "Is that the England captain?" Nate. She went, "No, she gets that all the time." She really looks like <laughs> I, she? I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, sticking with the Euros theme, uh, this one just says, "What did Prince William say to you before you lifted the trophy?" He just said he was really proud of us all and um, congratulations. I think. It was nice, actually. It was a really nice moment. I went to shake his hand, but then he, he went in for the hugs. Did you? Is that nice. was a nervous moment? Because you don't know yeah. how to greet the Royal. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> and of course, you got to know him quite well, because I've seen he's come to training. You yeah, to yeah. Him. Well, that was a nice thing. He came to training and he was saying to us, like, I don't want to put more pressure on you. It's not the reason mm. I'm here. I just want to let you know that we all care so much. Yeah. Next one just says, and I like this question a lot, which teammate partied the hardest after the final? I think, I think a few of them are still going, to be oh, honest. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, they deserve to be. They do, yeah. Um, Chloe Kelly was the last on the dance floor yeah. on the night. I remember she told me in the morning because I weren't there. <laughs> right, okay. I went to bed, got grief, went back down for an hour. Did you? Peer you went pressure. To bed early? I was just I was very right. tired. <laughs> I bet. Uh, went back down for an hour and then thought, no, I'm actually going to bed now. And then, yeah, yeah I heard that Chloe was the last on the dance floor. So that don't surprise me. Yeah, she so. was obviously buzzing after Yeah, the fire, literally just, I mean, you would be if you scored yeah. the winner, wouldn't you? Oh, I definitely would be, yeah. <laughs> oh, you mentioned dancing there. We saw a lot of dancing, a lot of singing. Who, who's the best dancer in the dressing room? Uh, Someone had to take that crown. Nikita Paris is a very good dancer. Okay. We haven't got any singers, I don't think, in the team. <laughs> Rachel Daly, yeah. I give her that a uh, bit of Celine Dion, but yeah. Dancing, everyone gives it a good go, yeah. so that's all I care about. And of course singing, have you just had Sweet Carolina repeat the whole time? <laughs> I, honestly, I genuinely think I sing it in my sleep. Like, <laughs> it just you? comes out sometimes, I just heard it so much. Okay, next up just says, uh, what was the best message you received after winning the Euros? Because I imagine that your phone went a bit crazy. Yeah, it did go crazy. Um, I had some really nice ones, messages from like, David Beckham and... Did you? you know, yeah, you yeah. You messaged from Bex? Yeah. Wow. Um, he messaged before the final, to be fair, and like a couple of games before, yeah. like just wishing the girls good luck. But it's just quite nice, because obviously they were our heroes when we were growing up, yeah. so... And what did Bex say to you? Um, like, congratulations, so proud. And just like what we've done, and it, especially because he's got a little girl and he's, yeah. so he just, he's like, what you've done for her. And it just makes you think of everybody, really. So. Amazing. Any, any surprise messages? Any random ones? Not necessarily random, but like people like Matt Lucas, he's a big Arsenal fan. Oh, I've, yeah. Like, spoke yeah, to him a couple of right. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, like people like him, actually, really, that was nice. OK, next one um, just says, um, who was your idol growing up? Uh, Kelly Smith. Yeah. She was my hero. Uh, I used to have a poster on my wall. She signed it, Dream Big. Um, and that's what I like would write on my... Amazing. If I did something now. But Thierry Henry as well. Yeah. I, I loved him. 
You're a proper Arsenal fan it. as well, aren't you? Like proper yeah, Arsenal yeah. fan. And I, I read that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your family's completely split. My dad's Half your family's split. Tell me about how that works. So my mum, when I was born, my mum and dad said, "Any like England and Arsenal, or Spurs." So you just make your choice. Right. He took me to a Spurs game, bought me a kit, made me put it on in the doorway, wow. went to the game, made me take it off before I got home, and then mum took me to an Arsenal game, uh, and then yeah, just. But so yeah, what are so North London derby days like in your household? Then I imagine that's they used quite to be fiery. a bit yeah, it used to be a bit fiery. I don't think my mum and dad ever used to watch it in the same same room. But we were meant to go to the Spurs. I was meant to go with my dad and my brother for the first time to the Spurs Arsenal game yeah. at the end of last season. And it got rearranged. I couldn't make it, and I was actually quite thankful in the end, obviously. But I actually don't think I could go with them because they're real. Really, my brother's a proper. How oh, I am Arsenal. That's how he is wow. as well. So love yeah. that. Love that. Okay, good question that one. Next up, uh, just says if you weren't a professional footballer, what would you be doing now? Boring answer would be an accountant. Sorry to any accountants out there. Are you studying to be an accountant? I read as well. Yeah. Still now. Right. It's on hold. It's on hold at the minute. I just wanted to concentrate on the summer and. Yeah, fair point. And we didn't hurt like women's footballers didn't even have a wage when yeah, I started becoming a footballer, yeah. so I had to have something and I just thought... Uh, next one just says, what is on your pre-match playlist? For the, for the group, keep it very... Uh, some classics, some new dance music. Yeah, but then yeah. we had a bit of ABBA. Oh, did it was you? Real, yeah. yeah, does your mother know? It was a, it was a bit of an anthem. <laughs> was it? We actually got a message from the guy from ABBA. Dear Lionesses, I'm Bjorn from ABBA. And I understand that you celebrated your well-earned victory the other day with ABBA music. And I have to say, that makes the defeat a little easier to bear. So, congratulations. Watching it, I was getting nervous, I was sweating, so I thought he's going to say this is really bad, disrespectful. Because <laughs> I didn't mean it like, we'd just been listening to it the whole <laughs> yeah, tournament. Yeah. And then he was like, made the, the, your victory a little less, a little easier to, wow. to swallow or whatever, and I thought, oh, God, I didn't want to <laughs> That's cool. disrespect the royalty. The, <laughs> yeah. um, the next one says, what does Leah Williamson like to do in her downtime? So hobbies, things that you don't do away from football. Uh, gigs, yeah. go to gigs all the time. What sort of music? Um, everything, um, but I, I go gigs with my grandma. Oh, do you? That's yeah. lovely. Um, that's what everybody says, and then they haven't seen her at a gig. She's well, a she party like? animal. Is she really? Yeah, party animal. Um, but yeah, any, anything, anything that I like, like mainstream, someone a little bit new or different, mm. country music, go to a lot of them as yeah. well. You're into your fashion country. as well, I've seen. Yeah, I love, well. love my fashion. Um, I basically just plan my day to go out so I can wear clothes. Do you? Yeah, so I can like get dressed up and go outside. So I'll just, even if I went to the cinema, sometimes I might just get a bit just dressed up. <laughs> just because you can? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Serena Viegman, we've got to talk about as well. A lot of questions yeah. about her. One that just quite simply says, is Serena Viegman the best manager in the world? Yeah, I'd probably say so at this rate. Like, how she is with me and how much I've enjoyed playing under her this summer and obviously what we've achieved, I don't think you can argue with that. Yeah, it, it quite an easy one for you to answer, I imagine, because a record is just phenomenal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she never lost the game at the Euros. Right. I felt quite a bit pressure there because I thought, I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> Did you go into it? <laughs> Uh, last few, uh, this one just says, if you're stuck on a desert island with one England teammate, who would you choose and why? I would choose Kira Walsh. Yeah, because she's, she's my your best, best mate, mate right? yeah. But I think we would be useless together, so I'll, I'll pick Georgia Stanway. She can fish and she can do all of that, so she can feed me and... Right, so Georgia Stanway you're picking check. to get off the desert island? Yeah, I think we'd survive the longest. Right. If we wanted to go in a week, then I'd go. If I wanted to have a good time and then go, <laughs> I'd Kira. take it right, yeah. Love that, you got an answer for, for different yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it. Uh, last question, to the point, just says, can the Lionesses win the World Cup? I think before the Euros, we had a dream, and we focus on the day, every day, to then even get in a position to go and be able to do it. Mm. And then once we got to that final, obviously we just made sure we turned up and brought it home. And I think with the, the World Cup, it'll be the same from now until then. Then we, like, it's a dream. Of course it's a dream, but everybody that goes there, I want to win it. And mm. it's, the, it's the big boy, isn't it? So we need to be, we need to be ready. And I imagine if, that did, if you did bring that home, the, the celebrations would just go crazy. I mean, I'll probably how long retire. would that last? <laughs> would you retire? Yeah. Probably, just pack it in there. Sweet yeah. Caroline would just gone over like drive, wouldn't it? <laughs> Leah, I really enjoyed that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Brilliant. They weren't too bad, actually. Not too bad? Not too, bad. Not, not too nervous, now yeah, you've done Yeah, them. yeah, they were all right. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much for your time, and thank you all at home for your questions. <laughs>